Hi everyone, I am Dr. Pradhiraj, consultant endocrinologist and diabetes super specialist at Arit Hospitals, Gachiboli, Hyderabad. Now I am going to talk about prolonged sitting. A famous medical professor from Mayo Clinic has quoted that prolonged sitting is a new smoking. So why he quoted in such a strong language? What are the consequences of this prolonged sitting? And what is prolonged sitting? Prolonged sitting means if you are uh, adhering to your chair for more than 8 hours in a day or in a more than 24 hours in a week, then we call it as a prolonged sitting. This prolonged sitting without any exercise activity has a very negative consequences on the health. All the data and research that got published in the last 10 years suggest that prolonged sitting is not good for your diabetes or it, it makes you more prone to develop diabetes at an young age and develop heart disease and stroke at a very young age. So what does World Health Organization say about the physical inactivity or physical activity? It released the guidelines in the 2020. According to this World Health Organization physical activity guidelines, for an adult who is aged between 18 to 64, we have to do a moderate intensity exercises for minimum of 150 to 300 minutes per week. This is the minimum amount of duration we have to be physically active in our week span of at least it should be 150 to 300 minutes. And these guidelines also insist on twice weekly doing strength training exercises. What are the strength training exercises? The strength training exercises are it can be any weight lifting, it can be push ups, pull ups, yoga or pilates. These exercises will strengthen your muscle and bone. Uh, by doing aerobic exercises, moderate intensity aerobic exercises like brisk walking, cycling, hiking, your heart can be protected from uh, having a cardiovascular uh, atherosclerosis. And uh, in a recent study that was done in 11 patients, they studied them for 5 days. On day 1, they asked them to continuously sit for 60 minutes. And on day 2, they asked them to sit for 30 minutes and walk for 1 minute. On day 3, they asked them to sit for 30 minutes and walk for 5 minutes. On day 4, they asked them to sit for 60 minutes and walk for 1 minute. On day 5, they asked them to sit for 60 minutes and walk for 5 minutes. In their publication, they mentioned that on the day 3, where the patients, uh, the study participants sat for 30 minutes and walked for 5 minutes, their average blood sugar value and the average BP is more on the healthier side and the normal side. So if you have to sit for more time or if you have to sit for a prolonged hours, at least after half an hour of sitting, make sure you take a 5 minutes break and go for a walk, 5 minutes walk or take a flight of stairs and come back and sit for your work. So to conclude this, I want to say that standing is better than sitting, walking is better than standing, brisk walking is better than walking and jogging is better than brisk walking and anything is better than nothing. Move more, live more. Thank you.